John 4, 5. Erketai un es palen tes samareas legamenein sukhar plesian tu choriu ha edoken Jacob to Yosef to huio autu. Here we have the use of the narrative or historical present. We frequently find that with verbs of motion or propulsion or verbs of speech. And so it often occurs at the seams of a narrative, sort of paragraphing out the text for us. And so this is the subject of this verb is Jesus. So Jesus comes. In other words, Jesus came, right? In English, we would make it past tense. So Jesus came to a city of Samaria called Sychar. Right. Why is the participle legamenein feminine accusative singular? Because it's describing the city, which is feminine accusative singular. Right? Tell us about the city. Well, it's a, it's a city that's called Sychar, near to the field which Jacob gave to Joseph, his son. Let's talk for just a moment about this word placeon. Now, the word placeon, I looked this up in Murray Harris's little book on prepositions uh, before I tape this. This is what's called an improper preposition. <laughs> an improper. There are 42 of these that he lists from the New Testament. He lists 17 proper prepositions and 42 improper prepositions. A proper preposition is technically uh, just a preposition that... Uh, uh, that can be used with compound verbs like ek balo, right? Ek, dia, in. It's just a, what you think of when you first think of a preposition, and they're used with compound verbs. Improper prepositions are adverbs originally that also came to be used as prepositions. So placeon is an adverb which means near, but it came to function occasionally as a preposition with the genitive object. So that's what it's doing here, right? That's what it's doing in this verse, near the field, right? And in the New Testament, it only functions as a preposition one time. It occurs 17 times in the New Testament. All other 16 occurrences, it, it functions as a substantive. Maybe you're used to seeing it as frequently with an article in front of it, meaning neighbor, right? Ha placeon, the near one, the neighbor. The word also occurs 224 times in the Septuagint.